What's going on everyone? So today I'm going to go over a technique that you might have seen me use during the PCB layout phase of that EE project series that I posted. The name of the technique is called cross probing and it's like a pretty nifty little tool that Altium offers whenever um, that, that really helps you get started on the PCB layout process. It allows you to group all your components um, so that you can kind of worry about wiring the, the systems within themselves before you worry about wiring systems to each to each other right so like you wire within the system first and then you wire from system to system if that makes sense um so basically the example that i used in that ee projects video was i used it to group all of my full wave rectifier components together and then i grouped all of my flyback controller components together all these resistors the chip itself the mosfet and then i used it to group the output components together and the way i did it was the first thing you want to do is right click here and then click split vertical and then what you want to do is open up the other document that you want to cross probe between in this case it was the pcb doc i actually like my pcb doc to be over here so i'm going to put that over there this over here and now that you have this set up what you want to do is click on tools and then you click cross probe and so what this does right now we're in what is known as continuous cross probing mode so what you do is you click on something and it will zoom in on the part so this is the little IEC connector see it zooms in on the connector and it'll highlight it for you and then it'll like I said it'll zoom in um, you click escape to exit this mode and then as you see we can zoom out and then we can kind of pan around and so uh, basically I guess there's some preferences you can set up for how much you want to zoom in and the amount of dimming that you want which is basically how much it grays out the background that's done in the tools preferences settings and then you go into system and then you click on navigation and so it's basically this little dial here causes it to zoom in more or less and then this one controls the amount of dimming so here we'll just crank this up all the way we'll click apply OK, now we'll see tools, cross probe, and then we'll click on this one. So see how much it zooms way in now versus if I just go tools, preferences, and then system, or was it navigation, navigation. Then we take it back a couple of notches and apply. OK, and then we'll do the same thing. We'll just cross probe this one. It's going to zoom out a little bit, right? So that's pretty much how that works right there. Um, let's see. The next part is going to be. Oh, yeah. So cross probing is also enabled in, from different areas of the schematic. Um, so it's a pretty nifty feature. Here's what we'll do is we will start by closing this. And here we'll do the split uh, plane again. I want to open. Actually, I want to open back up my. PCB document, but I want to start here. I'll do right click and I'm going to do split vertical again. But I also want to take a look at my this document. So one thing you can also do is if you like double click, it'll I think it's actually active in my schematic right now. Um, if you double click on a component in this bomb document, it should highlight it for us in the schematic. Um, I think I have to click cross. Oh, I think it's I have to select cross select mode. So right here, if you see that I, if I double click, it highlights them. So this is my full, uh, this is my full wave bridge rectifier. And like I said, I was just selecting those capacitors right there. Um, oh no, let me see. I can go back. Oh, here's a flyback converter down here. Let me see. I think it should. It might also work. Yeah, I think yeah, because this is highlighting my flyback converter right here. Let's go to that full wave rectifier so it's highlighting that so this is this is enables cross probing from different um, active documents within Altium so this is already a pretty powerful tool but there's an even better way you can kind of take advantage of this because if you notice it gets kind of clunky if you try to do this try to use this tool uh, a whole bunch like for example let's say I'm trying to cross probe to start placing components so let's hear hit tools and then I hit um, cross probe then if I like select this 
in order to like select this and start to move it like it's first of all it's hard it's like clunky to move it like i have to like right click and then then i can click again and select to move it around and it's it's not very elegant right um and there's a better way to do this and so the way you want to do what you want to select is with our schematic doc selected now you want to make sure you have cross select mode enabled for this cross select mode and cross probe mode they they do something where they kind of they're sort of all these are sort of the same thing where you basically the, the the whole gist of it is that you select something on one document and then it shows you its counterpart on another document but it has some of them have like slightly different features um, that are kind of built for different environments or different like uses right so like I said say you want to select a whole bunch of components at one time um, in order to group them up like we would say we were starting our PCB layout part so what you do is you click tools and you have cross select mode enabled and then you would click select PCB components and then you could sit here and just like highlight all of these and so you see it highlighted the whole thing right here and the reason is because I have uh, these high voltage ground ports uh, selected but here you see it even shows me the, all the wires and all the connections here but say you just wanted to look at just the components themselves so say you wanted you're starting your pcb layout and you wanted to group everything you could just do that and boom it's all grouped so just imagine these are like outside your pcb dock and you're trying to drag them around and it's actually really easy to pick these up and drag them um, it really makes it pretty simple for you and it's not really clunky because you can just select in and out and then you can just go right back to it and so then you can just highlight down here and again we have the high voltage ground so, I can, so yeah so then it like really quickly um, selects all of the components for you and then you can just um, and you can just drag these around really easily right so that's one of the best ways you can kind of take advantage of the cross probing technique so that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. Like I said, try out cross probing. It's a pretty powerful tool, especially imagine when we, we get into more complicated projects that have, you know, maybe hundreds of components in them. This can really speed up your, your PCB layout flow. So uh, yeah, um, please uh, don't forget to like if um, you thought this video was helpful to you. It definitely helps me out with the channel. So I really appreciate that. And if you want to subscribe, I'll be posting tons more Ultimate tutorials going over a bunch of EE projects and any type of general EE information I think is valuable. So um, yeah, thanks.